Are you concerned at all with Trump currently trailing a little bit in the polls right now? His campaign, as you said, flailing a bit as of now, just a few months out of Election Day. Are you concerned that this is going to affect Republican races down ballot? I think it should always be a concern. People tend to vote uh, down ticket, and that's not always the case, but that is generally kind of what happens, especially during a presidential year. People come out more in presidential years because they're excited to vote for that ticket. Uh, so, you know, absolutely. I think that, though, coming from a place where I'm speaking to a lot of folks on the ground and the grassroots and Republicans who are dissatisfied with Trump, I think a lot of them are still going to vote down ballot for the rest of, uh, the, you know, Republicans all the way down, maybe not for Trump himself. Um, but I don't think we have a strong ticket at the top. And Nikki Haley the other day, she did an interview with Fox News where she said, Republicans, you got to stop whining. You got to start focusing on the issues. And when you have a candidate who is not being disciplined in that way, I think that sort of encourages folks on the rest of the down ballot to, you know, feed into those talking points when in reality that's not going to be helpful to our cause. And when you focus on the issues, the top issues facing voters are the economy. I was listening to a podcast today and a voter was saying because of the rising grocery price or the grocery store costs, potato chips are now a luxury item for me. So do you think if Donald Trump pivots, starts talking about the economy, starts talking about immigration, starts attaching what people perceived as President Biden's failures to Vice President Kamala Harris, do you think that his ticket specifically can win over more moderate voters, maybe disenfranchised Democrats even, and um, undecided independents? I think that's the only way that he can get those voters if he starts talking about the issues, because a lot of the disenfranchised voters, the moderates in the middle, even in disenfranchised Democrats, right, who might say, like, Biden hasn't done the best job. I, I, you know, maybe don't like Trump as much, but I feel like neither option is good and they're up for grabs. When he talks about the AI and the crowd sizes and questions, Harris's race and all of those things, those are the things that people do not like about him. And if he's able to focus on the issues, that might be how he's able to get those voters. But I do think it's probably going to be the only way that he's able to bring those voters back home or into the big tent Republican Party, which we're supposed to be. But I don't think we've been recently, unfortunately.